Here's your KDLT Sports. Welcome back. Over at Howard Wood Field tonight was the 21st annual President's Bowl. In the early game, it was the Knights of O'Gorman taking on the Warriors of Sioux Falls, Washington. Let's go to the highlights. John Hander here pitches off to Sam Cook. Sam Cook's going to score. Drives it in home. 9-0 the Warriors up early. And they win look back. Then Washington rolling again. It's Luke Ryder time. He's going to push this one in through the pile. This makes it 17-0 the Warriors. Warriors starting to pull away. And again, they won't look back. Then later, it's going to be John Hander. That kid again, he's going to connect with the tight end, Austin Benson, in the back of the end zone. Yet another score by the Warriors. Puts them up 24 to nothing. Go to that final scoreboard. 24 to nothing. Washington wins. Shuts out O'Gorman. And then it was a ladder game. Sioux Falls Roosevelt took on Sioux Falls Lincoln. Roosevelt, its defense was stepping up early, causing a fumble. Then Lucas Wilbur intercepts this pass, giving the Riders the ball in Lincoln territory. He's going to return it down. Not going to quite score, though. Then quarterback Taron Christian, he was the story of the day. He would cap the drive off scoring on the QB sneak. 7-0 Roosevelt. Expect more from Christian later in these highlights. Riders force a punt. Uh, drive is ended as Christian scores again, calling his own number. Riders rolling 14-0. Roosevelt with the ball. Taylor Oshnor sacks Christian in the end zone for the safety. 14-2 uh, Roosevelt. Ensuing drive, Patriots score after Caden Quintana runs polling Lincoln High School within four, 14 to nine. But with less than a minute left in the first half, Christian makes it a hat trick, rushing for his third TD of the game. Go to the final score though. We left a little bit early, but this one went to overtime. Lincoln comes back to win 36-35. Christian though with four TDs. This one, uh, Lincoln scored first in overtime, then Roosevelt did, but missed the field goal to lose it. Coming back from a 21-9 deficit, Lincoln is your winner in the President's Bowl. Well, it's the second week of college football, and with every week, it gets more and more interesting to see if the Cougars of USF can hold their own in the NSIC. With a convincing win last week up at St. Cloud State, they look to do so again at home. They were at home taking on the Dragons of MSU Moorhead. First quarter, Perkins finds Carrington Hanna in the back of the end zone for six. Seven nothing coup up early. Still first quarter, Perkins finds Jeremiah Oates. Tiptoes in the back of the end zone. 14 nothing coup. They started rolling as well in the second quarter. Dragons couldn't get anything going. Look at all that purple. Where's the offensive line? But the fumble. Coup recovers. And then they'll score in suing possession. Perkins pitches it to Christian Porter who drives it home, 21-0 Cougar. Take a look at that final score, 45-10. Cougars win, Perkins 170 yards and three TDs. Hannah and Oates, two TDs each. And the Coyotes were at home hosting Colgate this afternoon. Well, I don't know what that is, but first game at the Dome for the Coyotes. First quarter, Gavin McCarney takes a snap, runs left, makes a defender miss, and dives into the end zone. Raiders go up 7-0. Coyotes respond on their first drive of the game as Josh Vanderman play action rolls to his left, jumps, Gets in the end zone. Game tied at 7. We're going to go to the final score of this one. USD 31, Colgate 21. Vanderman, 170 total yards, 2 TDs. And the Jackrabbits pull out a win over Southeastern Louisiana, 31-14. That's a look at sports. We'll all be right back.